Dr. Joe here of the AskDrJoe.org and the 2020 from Ruscom. So, how sleep deprived are you? Well, you may think that your sleep quality is very good and that you're sleeping very well. And uh, what I want us to do uh, in this very video is put you to the test. I want us to work out how sleep deprived you are. Uh, even though you think you're doing very well, Obviously, some people really do know that their sleep is not very good, but some people do not really know because they sort of feel like they're sleeping for a good number of hours and for them that's adequate. Well, the point is, when it comes to sleep, um, it has everything to do with both quantity and quality. So quantity may be okay, but if the quality is rubbish, then obviously you're not winning. So we're going to work that out. And uh, the way to do that is a simple test that uh, was designed by a famous American physiologist by name Nathaniel Kleitman. Uh, he's called the father of sleep research. Okay, uh, He's the one that uh, really gave us a deep insight into what sleep is all about. Uh, he and his colleague uh, found out what we now call rapid eye movement sleep, ROEM sleep. So, uh, you know, he, and the guy lived for uh, 104 years. So, um, you know, he did practice uh, what he preached. So, um, yeah, he knows a thing or two about sleep because if you sleep well, uh, that actually contributes to longevity. Um, so, we're going to find out how sleep deprived you are by this simple test. Uh, let's uh, go ahead and do it. So, the easiest way to find out how sleep deprived you are is to undertake the Nathaniel Kleitman test. And uh, like I explained earlier on, Nathaniel Kleitman was a famous American physiologist who did a lot of research into sleep and uh, he's the one that gave us uh, a deep understanding uh, of uh, how sleep actually works uh, as it is today. So. Um, he came up with this test because he wanted to find out how human beings can assess how sleep deprived they are. And uh, he came up with this test. And um, it's a very simple test. Indeed, the test is called Sleep Onset Latency Test. That's what it's called. Um, and the test is simple to conduct. You need just three items to do the test. The first item you need is a spoon. Like I've got here, this is a spoon. And the second item you need is a tray, a metal tray. I've got here a baking tray. Uh, you can use uh, any tray that uh, you prefer that you've got at home. And then um, the third thing you need uh, is a time device. Uh, so in this modern day and age, you probably need your mobile phone. Um, and the reason we need the mobile phone is that we are going to set an alarm for 15 minutes to wake us up just in case we miss the target. And I'm going to explain what that means in a minute because the spoon and this metal tray, they are going to be working hand in hand and they are the instruments that are going to uh, really wake us up. So um, in case you miss the target, you need something to wake you up so that you don't overshoot. And we also need the device, uh, the timepiece device to uh, uh, for us to note the time that we're starting the test, okay? So uh, those are the two reasons why you need a timepiece. So a mobile phone will do, but a regular analog clock will also do the job. So it really doesn't matter which one you choose, okay? So um, how do you do the test? Okay, before we do that, it's best to explain that uh, the test is best done in your bedroom, but you can do it in the living room like I'm going to demonstrate right here now. And uh, you need to have the curtains drawn such that the room is dark. And uh, you lie down on your bed or on this sofa, like I'm doing here. And you want to place this tray around the area where your arm is going to overhang, okay, like this. So, uh, because uh, we did this spoon to be, to be uh, resting just above uh, the metal tray, okay. So we get that really set up. And um, the other thing to note is the test is best done at midday or during the day, really, okay, in the afternoon. Uh, so um, we're ready to do the test now. 
So what we're going to do next is note the time that we are starting the test. So we note the time. Our alarm is set for 15 minutes to wake us up in case we overshoot. And we just lie down, curtains drawn, room is dark. It's time to doze off. Let's find out how quickly we fall asleep. That's the whole idea behind this test. We want to work out how quickly we fall asleep from the time we started the test, okay? So we lie down and uh, make sure our spoon and our metal tray are aligned. And uh, you know when you start the test, you are going to have a firm grip on the spoon. But eventually, when you fall asleep, naturally, you're going to lose in your grip. And this is what's going to happen when you're losing your grip, when sleep overcomes. So um, we're sleeping now, okay, we doze off, and we're going to lose in our grip, and eventually this is what will happen. The spoon will drop on the metal tray and the noise will wake us up. Next thing we need to do is note the time that we woke up, okay? The time that the spoon and the tray woke us up. And uh, so we work out how quickly we fell asleep because we noted the time we started the test and uh, when we woke up. So next thing is how do you interpret this very test? Let's find out, shall we? Okay, so you've seen the demo. The next question is, how do you interpret the result? The good news is you don't need your doctor to help you to interpret this. Uh, this is one test that, uh, whose results you can actually interpret yourself. So how do you interpret it? Before I tell you how to go about it, uh, a quick plug. Uh, this is my book on managing high blood pressure with lifestyle approach. Links to get the book right below this very video. So, how do you interpret the result? Well, here's how it works. If you fell asleep between one and five minutes, you are severely sleep deprived, okay? You are severely sleep deprived. And that means you need plenty more sleep. Now, if you fell asleep between six and 10 minutes, you are moderately sleep deprived and uh, you could do with more sleep. If you fell asleep between 11 and 15 minutes, then you are doing all right. You're mildly sleep deprived. So you could do it just a little bit more sleep. Obviously, if you fell asleep beyond 15 minutes, then uh, you know, you're doing really well. You don't need uh, any more sleep. You're doing really, really well. And that is where you should be really aiming for, um, you know, the alarm going off and you haven't fallen asleep. That's where you really want to be aiming for. So I'll go over the uh, interpretation of the results again. Between one and five minutes, you are severely sleep deprived. You need plenty, plenty more sleep. Uh, between six and 10 minutes, you are moderately sleep deprived. You need some more sleep. And uh, if you are falling asleep between 11 minutes and 15 minutes, then uh, you are mildly sleep deprived, which means you could do it just a little bit more. Uh, beyond 15 minutes, then you are doing very well, and that's where we want to be. So, uh, because, like I said before, when it comes to sleep, uh, everything has to do with both quantity and uh, quality. You need to improve your sleep quality, just like you also want to sleep for a good number of hours as well. So, um, I'll do another video on uh, how to improve your sleep. I've done a video before some years ago, and I think I might need to do a refresher video on improving sleep quality. You know, it's, I, I believe that improving your sleep quality uh, is a dynamic process. I still work on my sleep quality, even now, okay? So um, I'm not gonna lie to you and say my sleep quality is perfect every night. Uh, so it's something that I'm always working on and you should be looking to do the same as well uh, because um, that's just the way life is, you know? Uh, things happen and uh, you know that will impact uh, your sleep setting nights and you're not going to get the right quality of sleep that you need. Uh, you might not also get the right quantity that you need as well. So uh, it's an ever going process. It's dynamic. Uh, we keep improving on it. Okay. So um, I think um, hopefully you got some value from this very video. Uh, if you did, please give the video a thumbs up. Please like the video and also please share this video with your friends, with your family, with your colleagues. 
If you've got any questions, any comments regarding the content of this uh, video presentation, go ahead, leave your comments or questions down below. Always remember to go to askdrjoe.org. I think that's about it for this very video. Until next time, let's work on our sleep, folks. Let's work on our sleeps. Until next time, well, this is Dr. Joe signing out.